Remember when that woman said he raped her in the store? Dirty ass Don is finally gone. When he tried to sing the anthem, but he didn't know the words. Dirty ass Don is finally gone. Yeah. Putin little puppet's gonna go to jail. Dirty ass Don is finally gone. No one's gonna pardon or pay that bail. Dirty ass Don is finally gone. Yeah, I won't do runs anymore. Yeah, you can't do runs. Avoid runs. Remember when he cheated on his brand new wife? Dirty Dirty ass Don is finally gone. You shouldn't put ketchup on a sharp steak knife. Dirty Dirty ass Don is finally gone. Dirty ass Don is finally gone. Eat shit, racist, bankrupt clown Middle class killing while you cage the brown Draft dodging con man, ball shaped Don Fuck you, Donald. (laughs) Hey, Benny. Yeah, man, you've been a hard guy to get a hold of. This is Rugburn. Hello? Hello? Oh, that ginger fuck has hung up on me for the last time. I can't imagine why people seem to be turned off by you. Yeah, who knows? Maybe he's being surveillanced. The word is surveilled. Surveilled, yeah, you're right. Jeez. <laughs> Duh. Mind fart. Embarrassing. But of course you'd know that word. The fuck's that supposed to mean? Well, I'll run and get some cash. I'll see if Loopy Larry met up with his buddy yet. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. I fucked that dude's mom. Oh, wow. No. I'd love to hear about it as soon as I get back. Word. Ooh, long ass line. Thank God I'm still a little ripped from that old card I found. Man, I wish that ATM would let me take out over $200. Just another way this bank tries to fuck the working man. As soon as Antifa and the BLM take control and socialism spreads across the land like a warm, intoxicating blanket, that... (coughs) (coughs) Damn. Bad time for a pot cough. They'll think I got the virus. I must moisten my throat. Oh, the tickle's growing. Damn. Barbara Cat Eyes seems to be diagnosing me as we speak. Don't give her another reason, Rugburn. Swallow the tickle. Moist throat. Moist throat. (coughs) Oh, God damn it. Oh, shit. The black dude from Reno 911's getting pissed now. Catwoman's gonna tell the manager on me. I know it. Jesus Christ, why is so fucking dry in here? Hmm, maybe I can clear my throat just enough to relieve the phlegm pressure. All right, here we go. (coughs) And that didn't work. The tickle is only stronger. I hate this fucking virus so much. Uh, For me, it was Kathy Ireland, uh, number two, Cindy Crawford, and number one, obviously, Durr. Drew Barrymore. Just a little lad from Liverpool. What was that? A little what? Just a little lad from Liverpool. Something bad is happening. From Liverpool. Please stop, Ellis. If you can still hear me in there, please. I'm begging you. Uh, uh, Just a little lad from I'm sorry. Liverpool. Okay, please, just stop. Just Jesus a- fucking Christ, you stupid asshole. You're being possessed by the goddamn devil. Oh, uh, what? Oh, shit. So, that is our projections going into the fourth quarter. Thank you, Sylvia and Matt, for getting me those numbers so fast. Great work, as always. Does anyone have any questions? I actually have a question. Is this a dream? Am I still in a dream? This feels pretty real, though. I mean, Mr. Ocean looks a bit more beat to shit in his face than normal, but other than that, seems 
pretty normal. Just a little odd from Liverpool. I fucking knew it. Ellis, why are you in my bedroom window? You're still dreaming. Shh. Just relax. Okay, but to be honest, I'd kind of like to wake up because I just keep... Shh. Just enjoy the rest of your dream. Okay. Night-night. If you're not feeling well, you can always do your banking online. If I open up my mouth and I talk, I'm going to cough. Just smile so she knows you heard her, but that you're not sick. Yep, big smile. Perfect. All right. You can't cough again. Mentally destroy the tickle. Picture it in your mind and pulverize it. I am way higher than I originally thought I was. This most likely will end badly. Hey, I'm Philip Flem. I used to live in the lining of this lazy ass's stomach, but I'm sick of this shit, so I'm leaving. Taking the highway north out of town, if you know what I mean. Just a little coochie coo in the throat like this should get me out of here. But for some reason, this dumb motherfucker is too dumb to cough. He keeps swallowing his nasty ass spit, thinking this will change a damn thing, and it won't. So if a little tickle won't do the job, then I'm gonna whip him like Devo during an encore. One. Two, three. <coughs> oh, I still won't cough. What an asshole. Speaking of asshole, I guess I'll move on to plan number two. All right, one more person. You're doing great, Rugburn. When you get to the teller, just give her the withdrawal slip and talk with your eyes. I can help the next customer. For the cash back, do you want 20s? Oh, no. I want it in hundreds, not twenties. How do I tell her? Sir, would you like them in twenties? Damn. I think I just shit my pants. Well... <coughs> oh no, I think I have the coronavirus. All right, fine, I'll just tell my story. It was the seventh grade. Rebecca Anderson was standing right by my locker. This was my opportunity, this was my chance. I had to take it. I walked up to her, my knees were shaking. I asked her, would you like to go to the 50s ball with me? Remember when we had those 50s themed party whatever and then she said like you have a big johnson shirt on what does that even mean <laughs> oh i remember that shirt you used to wear that shit like twice a week you thought it was the coolest i didn't wear them twice a week i had two of them anyway that's my story she has four kids now and she's still gorgeous whatever i remember watching you walk through the halls thinking Nobody fucking him. <laughs> Ain't nobody fucking him with that shirt. Uh, if I remember correctly, asshole. Noodle licking crock pot. DJ, damn it, go home. If I remember correctly, Ellis, you had a big Johnson shirt too. Yeah, I know I did. But mine was a little bit different, wasn't it? What you looking at? You want to touch it or something? Hey, Rugburn. You remember Taylor Chatsworth from high school? How could I forget? Yo, you that dude who dad died? I guess so. That's a bummer, man. I know what you're going through, if it matters. Oh, really? Did your dad die in one of those Compton drive-bys or something? Have you ever talked to a black person before? Not really. Well, let's start over. My name is Ellis Griggs. Hey. Do you have a name? My name's Jamie. Jamie Rugburn. Jamie? No, nah, that sounds like something your mom's calls you. It's James, actually. James, yeah. Fuck that Jamie shit, dude. James is more manly. You can't bang a girl with the same name as you, am I right? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, there you go. See, I knew you weren't a weirdo. Is that what, like, they think? That I'm some, like, 
sad weirdo. Yeah, basically. You seem cool. You just need to, you know, get that spring back in your step, you know, maybe stop wearing Wranglers. Why are you sitting by me anyway? Because I'm trying to be nice. Why? You want to be left alone forever? Sometimes. Is it weird being, like, one of the only black kids in Happy Valley High School? I, uh, I don't know. I haven't thought about it much. I would. I would think about it all the time. Yeah, well, that's you. That ain't me. That's what you do. Before you said that you knew what I was going through. Oh, yeah. My granddad from North Dakota died a few weeks ago. Not the same at all. Oh, well, maybe if you were a nicer person, people wouldn't think you're such a moody dickhead. Maybe all the cool kids can shove their expensive trapper keepers up their buttholes. I don't give a frick about any of them. Aw, oh, they ain't all bad. Of course you think that. You're friends with them. Who, them? Nah. They'd be acquaintances, maybe. But that's it. Might hit up a party or two at their big houses, but... Uh... So you're just pretending to be their friend? Yo, what music do you like, James? Music? Um, Soundgarden, Led Zeppelin, The Beatles. I'm getting into Oasis. You ever listen to Motown, Sam Cooke, Otis Redding? Are those all black people? You really never talked to a black person, have you? Does the mulatto guy who works at the essay count? Uh, mixed race people prefer you not use the M word. What's the M word? The word you used to label a mixed race person. Mulatto? I thought that's what you call them. What if people called you that dude who dad died guy? That's exactly what you called me when you came over here. Yeah, you might be right. Yo, DJ, since Rogren got the corona, he'd be locked up in his place for a few weeks. So I need some help on the floor. You down with that? Yeah, okay. Good. Now go ask those two over there if they need any help. Okay. Hey, do you need any help? Yeah, actually. I was looking for the new one from Bob Mole. How did it go? Yeah, I don't know. Cool. All right. You keep an eye on the store. I'm going to run to Earth Mud and grab a cup of coffee. You want anything? Yeah. Can you get me the rare My Little Pony called Flutterby? But only if they have the pink one with the blue ribbon, not the orange one with the pop pop sparkles. You know what? Maybe I should stick around. <laughs> Yo, why are you calling me? Go take a nap. Ellis, I can't taste anything. Nothing has taste, Ellis. Jesus Christ on the cross, I've been hallucinating pretty hard up here. Right now I'm in Antarctica running away from some mutant narwhal. Narwhals are fish though, right? How's it chasing you? Were you swimming or something? Ellis, are you stupid, man? I said it was a mutant narwhal. This fucking thing has legs, man. All right, get some rest and take some ibuprofen. Oh, God, here it comes. I'm sorry for that. How can I help you? Hi, do you have the new Deftones on vinyl? Deftones, all right, yeah. Uh, if we uh, go to the new releases, take a time machine, go back to 2001, maybe Sam Goody, and get the fuck out of here, right? Get the fuck out of here. Ellis, Michael Griggs, I just wanted to tell you that your friendship has meant the world to me. I'm not long for this world, Ellis. You'll be fine. <gasps> No, I'm not. No, I'm not, Ellis. He caught me, Ellis. <laughs> the mutant Norwalk caught me. All right, hang in there, buddy. Ellis, I'm already dead. Don't you understand? Oh, cool. Thanks, fam. Yeah, do you carry the new machine gun, Kelly? Oh, God, I hope not. Hey, Ellis, this guy wants to know why we don't have a vaporwave section. Oh, yeah, tell him it's the same reason why he puts peanut butter on his nuts. Okay. It's the same reason that you put peanut butter on your nuts. Ellis, I'm in heaven. Cool. Is it pretty? It is, Ellis. It's so beautiful. Hey, quick question. Do we have a vaporwave section? A what section? Vaporwave? Vaporwave? No. Why? Does some dog molester want to know? Yeah. 
Look, Ellis, I have to go. The angels are telling me it's time for my wing pitting. If I don't speak with you again, please, remember these three words. I... Hey, DJ, what do you say we close a little early today? Okay. Oh, why can't I taste anything? I would do anything to have taste. Wait a second. I don't have the coronavirus. It's just Jimmy John's. Yo, Ellis. Like, what are you doing sitting over here? Oh, hey, Taylor. Yeah, uh, this is James, by the way. Yeah, I know little Jamie. He's the dude whose dad died. Well, yeah, but uh, he's good shit, man. Yeah, he goes by James now. He can change his name all he wants. Jamie Carpetfire is a downer, bruh. Come back to the chairs. I'm telling all the bros about what me and Carrie Goldstein did at her parents' house last night. I thought you were dating Vandalia Dale. I am. <laughs> Boy, you have really cool friends. Yeah, he's, uh, he's kind of an asshole, isn't he? He doesn't deserve Vandalia Dale. None of those jerk-offs do. Oh, here we go. So you like Vandalia? After my dad died, she's the only person that came up and talked to me. She's always been nice to me. Then go up and talk to her. What? Are you nuts? I'm like a nobody. She's the most perfect woman ever. Plus, she's like dating that piece of shit Taylor. You heard him. He'd be cheating on her ass. Be a man. Tell her what's what. Yeah, that sounds like a great frickin' plan there, uh, uh, Mr. T. What the fuck? Look, I just want to be invisible and get through these next three and a half years of high school without any of you cool kids making my life a living hell, okay? You do whatever, but, uh, I'm not one of them. Are you sure? Because there's a sweet handjob story coming your way during study hall. You're wrong, you know. About what? Vandalia wasn't the only person to come over and talk to you. Peace. Maybe he's right. Hey, uh, Vandalia, I just wanted to come over here and tell you that- <laughs> Oh, whoops. Did I accidentally smash you with my backpack, bruh? Sorry. <laughs> you should probably watch where you're going, little Jamie. Jamie. The name is James. <laughs> oh. How does it feel, Taylor? Do you remember me? Uh, what? No, I don't know. I'm oh, just... really? Weird, because I remember you, Taylor. I remember you beating me with a 40-pound backpack in front of the whole goddamn school. My name isn't Taylor. Oh, it's not? Oh, okay. I see. You had it changed after high school because you were such a fucking prick. I got it. I'm calling the police, having you arrested for assault. Do it. And then maybe I'll uh, call Vandalia Dale and tell her how you let the other girl give you a handy after school. How about that? What the hell are you talking about? You're Taylor Tatsworth. Stop pretending you're not. I'm not him. Yes, you are. Yeah, he's not him. Taylor lives in Florida now. He moved there after college. Then why the fuck did you bring him up in the first place? Because I thought that dude kind of looked like him. No, oh, yeah, he does, doesn't he? Well, he used to. <laughs> uh... Yo, Burnout Benny, what's up, man? Oh, hey, Rugburn. Long time, man. Yeah, it has. Look, I don't even care that you've been ghosting me. I just really would like to buy an ounce. Preferably a strain that makes me feel like I'm flying or in a coma. I just need something strong, man. Loopy Larry's trash weed is giving me nightmares. And apparently, Ellis banged his mom. Oh, wow. That sounds like a unique adventure. Unfortunately, I no longer deal in the ways of the devil. I found a reason to believe in. What are you talking about, Benny? I'm saying I found Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior, man. What the fuck did you do that for? Uh, I'm sorry? Yeah, you should be sorry. God damn it, man. Knock this shit off. I'm going to run to the ATM and get cash. You find me some of that good weed. You didn't understand. I found a family, man. 
I found people who listen to me for the first time in my life. And they show me my capabilities, you know. Also, they teach me about how the government, led by a deep state of Hollywood elite pedophiles, are using the government buildings for satanic rituals. Pentagon. More like pentagram. Jesus Christ on the fucking cross. Did you join a cult, Benny? Did you join a cult, Benny? Yeah, you know what? I said too much. Later. Damn you, Bernal Bunny. Damn you. Later that night. All right, Dr. Brown, for it looks like they're meeting in this old abandoned elementary school. Who they be? They be a cult. The cult I was telling you about earlier. Who's that motherfucker in the bathrobe? Well, I was researching the origins, and the leader of this particular cult is a mysterious person named the Pillow Man. He wears a pillowcase over his head. What, like the Ku Klux Klan or some shit? No, more like Jason in Friday the 13th Part 2. But I'm sure he's racist as hell. So what are we hoping to achieve here? You're really focused tonight, Ellis. This is awesome. Like, you're really into this. No, not really. I'm actually probably going to take off here in a little bit, but I was just curious. Bored, really. Hey, I'll take what I can get. So, tonight we're going to bust this meeting up, expose the leader as a fraud, convince his followers that he's a fraud, then get Burnout Benny to find us an ounce of weed that doesn't smell like a sloppy Joe fart. Yeah, it does smell like that. Good evening, friendly feathers. Welcome. Tonight we must address the progress of our Rotten Core initiative. Brother Hagurski, where are we at with the intel at Ground Zero? Oh, yeah. Uh, things are uh, looking real good. Yeah. It's a record store, actually. Pine Vinyl. That's what it's called. I did some plumbing over there once. Yeah. I didn't see any uh, pedal stuff there when I went, but it's just a clogged toilet. It was, a, it was a bowl of green poop. Green poop, you say? Hmm, interesting. As we all know, the only thing that can make poop green is children's cereal. Maybe he had a shared breakfast with one of his victims. What the fuck? Is he saying that I'm a child molester because I eat cereal? Well, well, look at what we have here. Some guests. Who are you and why have you interrupted our proceedings? I'm the green pellet. This is Dr. Brownfur. Prepared. Well, you are not invited members, so we will be forced to escort you to out. Yeah, we will leave. But before we do, maybe your followers should see this. Womp. Here's your fearless leader snorting some coke. <laughs> oh, you silly sinner. My past is no secret. With the Lord, I have changed my life and found rescue from my past addictions. And here's your fearless leader snorting more coke off of a wiener. Womp. Again, my past is an open book. Speaking of open book, here's you pooping in a Bible. Womp. My past mistakes have been forgiven. My story is one of redemption. Here's your God-loving leader kicking a homeless man in the mouth. Womp. He was too close. Self-defense. Here's you uh, putting a bunch of puppies in some potato sacks and throwing them over a bridge. Womp. Don't you have any hobbies? Green pellet? Yeah, red-headed porn. Who cares? Here's you, yesterday, murdering a woman with a crucifix. Womp. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, Green Pellet, what a strong case you have presented. Let's turn it over to the jury, shall we? What say you, my feathers? Is it me who is a blight to mankind? Or is it this devil-worshipping mass man who is running a child sex ring in his place of business and probably worked with Burisma in the summer of 2012? Who is guilty now? Pine vinyl must die. Pine vinyl must die. Pine vinyl must die. Pine vinyl must die. Pine vinyl Looks vinyl like my followers believe me. No surprise, though, as they never disappoint their leader. Ever. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Here's one more picture. Womp. Uh, what am I looking at? I don't understand. This is you, Michael Little, leaving a kid rock concert before the encore in a mask. Why? Wait, what? Wait a second. No. 
You never even made it to Ba Wida Ba. No, he's lying. I would never abandon Brother Rock. Please, Feathers, believe me. You must believe. No more Billow Man. No more Billow Man. No more Billow Man. No more Billow Man. No more. Well, Dr. Brownfur, it looks like our work here is done. Yeah, I didn't even really know what we were doing. I don't know what any of this is. We just saved the world, Ellis. Again. Two days later. This new stuff from Burnout Benny is on fire. Yeah, it is. God, is it nice to get high again proper. What do you think happened to the pillow man? I'm assuming his uh, followers took care of him. I'll get you, Pine Final, if it's the last thing I do. <sighs> Pine Have you ever done this before? Smoke grass? Yeah. Uh, no. Sorta. No. Well, all right, let me tell you what we got here. This is a joint my brother rolled. He's not that good at it, but apparently his stuff is called swag. What does swag mean? Does that mean it's like good? Yeah, probably. Swag weed, probably the best kind of weed. Probably. Why don't we try it and find out? You've never done it before? Well, I, I got a contact tie once at a real big fish concert, but uh, I never actually smoked it, no. So you were kind of like waiting for the right person to do it with or something? If you're gonna be weird about this, I'll call that DJ guy over. Who? DJ, that dude that works at Taco John's. Oh, him? You didn't hear? That place burned down. No shit. What happened? DJ? DJ happened. That's probably why he got fired. Probably. Yeah. Alright, let's smoke this joint. I'm high. Are you high? I'm definitely high. No, I think it probably takes more than a second to kick in. You yeah, know? I don't feel anything yet. I don't feel anything. Just chill out. It'll be, it'll be, uh, it'll be coming about any second now, I bet. Let's just wait. Hey, Ellis. What's your favorite song of all time? All for Love by Color Me Bad. Oh, I never heard of them. What, where are they from? Are they from Seattle? Austin? I know the fuck they came from. I don't even know if they know each other. They've made a song and I like it. It's the best song ever. That's all I know. Color Me Bad's really good though. They, uh, they'll be around for a long time. We'll be talking about them in 25 years, I bet. Well, I better listen to more Color Me Bad then. <laughs> Are you high yet? I think I might be high. No, I'm not high. I don't think I'm high at all. Me neither. Me neither. Hey, Ellis. Have you ever heard of a blowjob? Was that a dumb question? Do you, do you know what it is? Do you know what a, a blowjob is? It's when a girl, like, puts a, you know, a penis in her mouth and sucks on it. Do you know about it? Did you know about it? What, like, wait, have, have you done it before or something? No, you haven't. No, you haven't. No, you have Have you had a girl blowjob you? What? No way! No, I haven't. But I'm taking Rebecca Anderson out this Saturday. Rebecca Anderson? Oh, okay. Uh, this might be a bit weird, but just to warn you, me and her had a thing going on in middle school for a bit, so... Really? What do you mean, a thing? Well, we sort of, you know, like, there was a dance, and I, uh... I mean, we didn't end up going together, but it was discussed, and it was like, I don't know, you know, it turned into a whole thing, and, you know, whatever. So you asked her to a dance, and then she said no? Uh, I mean, if you're gonna summarize it, yeah. Yeah, okay. Look, I give you my blessing. It's okay. You can date her. I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. It's okay. Let's just stop talking about it. 
Hey, Ellis, why is the whole world spinning? Now it's spinning the other way. Hey, Ellis, we should totally open a record store. Yup. Bye, bye, bye. bye.